Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for the program B that is minimize inversions. Okay, <clears throat> so we are given two permutations A and B of length n, and uh, you know what is permutation. It is an array of n elements from 1 to n where all elements are distinct. For example, 2, 1, 3 is a permutation, but 0, 1 and 1, 3 are not. Okay. So we can choose two indices i and j, then swap a i a j b i v j simultaneously. Okay, we need to do that. What we need, like we hate inversions according to this person. So we want to minimize total number of inversion in both permutations. And what is inversion? Inversion is that it is a pair of indices i comma j such that i should be less than j, but pi should be greater than pj that is the condition uh, as you can see 3 1 4 2 5 in this 1 and 2 1 and 2 that means 3 and 1 i is less than j because 1 is less than 2 and pi that is 3 is greater than 1 so that is the only possible thing so we can do these permutations uh, sorry inversion so like what we need to do? We need to minimize that number of permutations and we can modify the array. Right? So, this is our target. We need to find such permutation. So, how can we do that? Let's see. <clears throat> so, in the first case, we have this array 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. Now here 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How many permutations like inversions you can do in this array? 0. You can't do anything. Because there is no pi greater than pj. All are smaller. Right? And in this case. In this case. What is that possible? How many inversions? Inversions are 5 or 4. Can you do that? Yes, we can do this. 5 and 4, 5 and 3, 5 and 2, 5 and 1. How many? Like it is a reverse order. So, like we can do 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 4 plus 3 with this 4 3 4 2 4 1 then with this 2 plus with this 1 so total will be 10 that is the minimum we can achieve why minimum how can we say that we can say that because of this case because of this case because it is it has zero and the maximum number of permutations is possible when the array is in reverse order and how many it has n cross n minus 1 by 2 this is the value the maximum number of inversions possible because if it is in reverse order we can do every inversion so that is the thing so we need to minimize that so how can we do that so in this case we can't understand because it is already already given so need to have 3 1 2 right 3 1 2 and again 3 1 2 what we can do like we first we need to do a minimum number of inversions in one array first we target that and what is that possible we can sort it if we sort it we can have minimum so let's sort it one two and three we have sorted so it has zero our target is complete for this now the second one what is possible we can again sort this but according to the question we can't do that 
why we can't do that just see this this thing we need to swap this ai aj and bi pages simultaneously we need to do that simultaneously that's why we can't do that directly like sort first sort second so if we are sorting this first one we need to maintain the sequence in the second so in this case currently this is the same array so we can have that one two three same that's it done so now you are going to see one interesting example okay that will clear all your doubts so now you have two five six one three four like and the second one is one five three six two and four there can be many inverses possible how can we see that two comma one is one and uh, five six no five one obviously yes five three five four so there are so many permutations like inversions possible in this array and this array so total is higher we need to reduce so what we can do just sort it because it will become zero so one two three four five and six you got it now you need to maintain the same order so for maintaining the same order what is in front of one that is six you need to have six here what is in front of two that is one you need to have one here what is in front of three that is six i have done some mistake i guess three yes so three that is two four that is four and five that is again five and six that is three and how many minimum possible because this is zero because we have sorted already and this one so this one has five because it is greater than every value next to it so that's five with one zero two zero four it has one four and three okay and five and three that is all that is one more so we have total seven we have minimized and you can see that here also seven so we can minimize that this way so let's see the implementation for understanding what you need to do just <clears throat> just take the input like this declare the map take the input a vector p vector and similar uh, at the same time what you need to do just keep the track of the same element corresponding element you can do that like this and then you need to sort the vector a and what you need to do just you don't need this camp here what you need to do just print print the a vector here and after that print the same element corresponding elements from b vector that's it you will get your answer okay let me run it you can get it yeah so you will get like this and when you submit it will be accepted hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding